Hello there, this is fairbinaryoptions.com. Let's write on the screen. Fairbinaryoptions.com. And um, this is the US dollar Canadian dollar, or the infamous US dollar Canadian dollar, in the sense that if you try to short it the pair for the last, let's say, uh, uh, two weeks or maybe even more than two, actually for the last month because this move here started uh, almost one month ago as you can see in the 11th of July and we are now in the uh, uh, in August so if you try to short this currency pair for this amount in the, in the, or during this period you would be in a lot of trouble as the pair moved only but only to the upside now you can call this move as you want but this is no impulsive move there is a so-called strategy for complexive waves that, that is being called um, the waterfall effect but this move to the upside should respect the whole proportions it goes with the first correction if I were to label this one from the downside here to the upside I would say that this is only wave A definitely an impulsive move so five-way structure for wave A let's uh, label it with uh, pink so this would be wave A then we have a contracting triangle all the way to the downside here and this should be labeled as the B wave A and B well all good now with A and B how about uh, defining this contracting triangle so from here to here as you can see the line the ANC is contracting and then the B to D trend line the B to D trend line of course here it is being broken like this beautifully broken then market consolidates above the trend line before moving higher and this would be so A, B and this would be the C wave to the upside now from my point of view this is only the first correction or the first the first part of the so-called triple combination this pattern is being called now this triple combination then deserves to be measured or this first correction to be measured from here to here and then we should take 61.8 out of it like this and then to project this move let's try to make it in um, in blue and then to project this move from the moment that the C wave here ends well with the moment that the C wave ends and then we have an educated guess uh, regarding the end of the second correction or that would be the X wave or the intervening X wave and then the end of the second correction well the end of the second correction as you can see by suggested or suggested by the 61.8 goes into this high here this area so I would say that the second the second correction ends actually around here so up to here we need to have another corrective way what would be this another corrective way well definitely just another way A here and the B wave like this and I would say the C wave that goes all the way to the upside here in the form of a rising wedge as you can see a small rising wedge that, that is done here and then what? what is the moment of time that we are now? well we are in the first correction X wave the second correction that goes 61.8 then uh, the second correction that goes 61.8 and then we have what? we have the another X wave but this another X wave here this here took the form of probably a flat this one here takes the form or the shape of another contracting triangle for the X wave this time so it goes a b c d e and popping higher so another corrective wave here like this and like this 
for the x-ray and what to look for next well normally this triple combination most of the times they end with a contracting triangle so uh, from this moment of time we should mark the highs in the C wave here so that would be 10928 and this contracting triangle to follow should end above 0 1.0928 before moving to the downside so this one should go something like this it should go from here A, B or maybe even a B wave like this okay A, B let's say C, D, E and then to pop higher now in order to respect proportion it's not going to be done uh, the small triangle is not going to be done here but it needs to respect proportions when compared with the other corrective waves and then for price to go to move to the downside I would say even even strong here now what does this mean for the job data to come on Friday what does this mean for the overall uh, for the overall picture on the currency markets here it means that the jobs data if we go into this coming if we go into this coming Friday with around these levels I would say that the jobs data is going to be negative for the pair if we are around here around 0920 into the Friday I would say it's going to be positive on the pair and we need another spike but nevertheless a contract in triangle the third correction can also be a flat so A, B and C for example but these levels here 10970 uh, uh, one zero one point ten are uh, levels to go and buy put options so let's write on the screen as that is the plan so buying put options with end of week expiration date for the US dollar and Canadian dollar I don't care that everybody's buying it this move is corrective and therefore we should see some downside to come thank you for being here have a great uh, have a great day make sure you check our binary options academy on the website as we have a lot of uh, technical and also fundamental uh, setups there. Bye-bye.